We're going to take some time in this video to walk through the steps to acquire and work with one of the pre-built Smart Starter apps that you can install from the app catalog made available in the K2 Apps Workspace. Notice on my screen here, I have an instance of K2 Workspace opened up to the All Apps Workspace area in my browser. To install a K2 pre-built Smart Starter app from here, you will click on the New button shown just above the application list. Now, from the new app window that appears, notice there is a list of three available application template styles provided by K2 that allow you to pre-configure and create apps that line up with approval, survey, or list collaboration related templates. The options available under these template styles allow you to pre-configure and generate an app wizard style app with a little more control over what your business needs call for. In this demonstration, we are going to be looking at the fourth option on this window called Install from Catalog. So let's click on that button to open it up. Make a note, the difference between application options listed here and the application options under the other three template types is these applications are already built with the intention of letting you download and install them without going through the pre-configuration steps. K2 has built them as they are, with the intention of helping you get moving faster. You will have the option to edit smart form and workflow components with these apps to some degree once downloaded and installed. Some of them may be installed already for you as shown in the screenshot here, and you can page through the list to see all applications that are available. You can select an application from the list. I'll pick the training request app since it is not installed yet, Upon doing this, you can then click on the Install button at the top of the list, or you can view the details as well by clicking that button. The Details window gives you a description of functionality that the application is supposed to provide, along with some example screenshots of forms and the related workflow. You can also install it from here, which I'll do by clicking on the Install button in the upper right corner. This may take a minute or two to download and install. Be sure not to close this window until you see the registration complete notice with a green check next to it. I'll go ahead and pause the video to save some time while this runs. Okay, this looks good. So I'll click on the X in the upper right corner of this window to close this dialog. I'll also close the details view, then go back to the available apps list. Notice scrolling down to the training request app, it is now listed as installed. Let's go back to the All Apps list so we can access this application and review some configuration options. Notice this application is set with the installed status. To open it up, I'll select it, then click the Launch button. On the landing page of this application, notice that our users will be able to see tasks in the task list assigned to them, they can also view a list of pending items they may have started or even items they have completed. Because I downloaded and installed this app, I am the administrator by default, which means I can see a link to the administration page from here. Let's open that page up and take a look around. In this example, we can manage options in the training type and expense type lookup lists, Make a note that other applications may also have more lookup lists to manage on this page. The content of these lists will be displayed as drop-down lists on various forms within the application. If you notice at the top of the page, there are other menu links that take us over to some other administration settings. Again, depending on the application, there may be a few more menu options shown up here in this tab area. For this application, the workflow has a task step for HR approvers, of which the members of the approval group are managed from the HR approvers option here at the top. Know that other apps may have similar settings depending on your workflow design. Next, let's move over to the Administrator and Settings page. Smart Starter applications provide this area so you can add administrators to the application, invite users to use the application, Set its title, add it to the favorite app's workspace, and manage other app setting values. Many of these values are settings that the application uses to set form titles and sizes, various form locations, and even names of workflows the application will reference. 
Note, these settings will be different depending on the Smart Starter application you're managing as well. Let's move back to the top of this page. When you invite users to use the application, you can go into this window where K2 will provide you with a dialog to create an email notification stating that the application is available. You will also be able to edit how you want that notification to look in the subject and body of the message. You can also select the application form link that you want users to use for access. Finally, you will be able to select users to send this message to down at the bottom of the window. I won't go into too much more detail on this, but know that this functionality does exist to help you out. I'll close this window out. Then, before we leave the administration area, let's click on the Add to Favorites button. In doing this, the Training Request app will appear in the Favorites menu grouping over on the Favorite Apps workspace, of which we can briefly look at in a moment. Now, let's back out of the administration area. We can do this by clicking on the K2 logo here in the upper left of this section on the page. Notice as well, users will also be able to review workflow reporting information as needed. In the reporting area, we can review the process overview report along with instance information, activity duration, and various other metrics around K2 tasks and process instances. Upon backing out of the report area, notice from the landing page, you can also access the training request form. This form was pre-built with various fields detailing a training request, including the training type dropdown list. Your users will be able to access this application by using the URL to the home or landing page of the application. They will also be able to access it from the All Apps view and in the Favorites menu group under the Favorite Apps workspace. Your users can get to the Favorite Apps workspace by clicking on the K2 logo in the upper left of the page to open up the list of workspace options. From here, select the Favorite Apps workspace. The All Apps view will be visible when you first come into this page. Here, you can open the Training Request application by double-clicking on its row or selecting it and clicking on the Launch button from the top of the list menu. Also, notice over in the left side menu, you have a link to the training request application appearing under the Favorites menu grouping. This is all possible because we clicked on the Add to Favorites button back in the administration area for this application. As you can see, this is a fully functioning application available in the K2 environment I'm working with here. The steps to install and configure a Smart Starter application are fairly quick. If this option meets your needs, it gives you the ability to quickly provide a solution for a business process without the need to spend a lot of time in development.